So we know that sunlight gives plants energy to grow, but what happens when they get too much light? Take a look. This is what plant fluorescence look like on a global scale. Each point of light on the globe represents excess light leaving plants. When light strikes a plant, cells absorb and convert it to energy. But about 1% is released as fluorescent light, but it can't be seen with the naked eye. Our eyes just aren't that sensitive. To see the fluorescent light that's emitted from plants all over the world, we have to use scientific instruments that are placed on satellites. It's the Global Ozone Monitoring Instrument aboard the METOP-A weather satellite that gives us these incredible views. By observing intensities of light, scientists can tell the health of plant life. But why is that important? And this will lead to better predictions of how plants will interact with the Earth's environment in a changing climate. NASA is planning to launch an orbiting carbon observatory by July of next year to measure carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel.